Okay, it's a little breezy out here, but everybody can hear me, and it's a hot one today. UV index is 10, so it's about 3 in the afternoon. I'm going to try and bang this out before the rain show up. What I'm going to do here is I have a 10-foot piece of IMC conduit. It's 2 and a half inch, and uh, the IMC allows you to have a little bit more than 2 and a half inches on the inside diameter. It will fit in there even though it's two and a half inches. See, there's not much play in there. So I'm going to sink this 10 foot piece in here. I'll probably leave uh, five foot up, six foot up. And I've already figured out the path of my uh, dipole as it crosses the back of my yard. From that tall tree right there in the center, here's the path coming across that tree. So then I took that path and I squared it off with the fence. I've got a stake. Now I can remove, once I start digging I can I can move the uh, strings out of the way and then when I need to find my center again I'll be able to do that. And then if we look down I've already got this little temporary cheapo copper rod that I used as a center point. So. Time to start digging. I've got uh, two, 200 pounds of quick creep, which I don't really need 200 pounds, but the volume of it and the size of the hole and the size of the uh, piece of conduit I'm putting in, uh, it's going to call for that to fill in the hole. Now I'm not going to dig the hole all the way down to five foot. I'm going to dig the hole down three or so foot down and then try to drive this conduit down the rest of the way. Uh, Either that or I'll leave it standing up. The first section of mast is eight foot. So but I'd like to go down at least four foot uh, in dirt. And then we'll go from there. So there's your typical post hole digger. A little pointy shovel. I got another shovel I gotta go grab and then a piece of wood to throw the dirt on. So time to sweat. Okay, the inside ring is about what I want to dig. That's about a nine inch hole, and then I put another marking hole out there in case I lose it. I don't want to go too crazy because then I'm just going to need more cement so that's the way to mark it. And the inspection crew is out here. Of course sitting in the shade not helping at all. You Bella? Yeah. You're okay. Okay. I'm exhausted so I'm going to have to catch my breath here. There's a plug of grass I uh, pulled out. I dug down as far as I could with this first, pulled that little plug out, and then I started digging. I don't know if you can Let's see how good this works in the dark. That works, that works pretty good. That's about the four foot mark from the grass here. It's up. Now the key is to keep these walls untouched because you want something firm when you put your cement in. You want unbroken soil. So this is pretty good right here, four foot. Just a little short, and then I'm gonna take a uh, pipe and slam it down there a couple times, and then I'm gonna take a break. I'll come back and I'll uh, put the pipe in and get it all leveled up. And I'm just gonna quickly mark this so I know where the different points are as I'm pushing it in the ground. Four foot, mark. Five foot, mark. Three foot. Okay, I'm getting to the point. I can get the pipe in there about four foot. I'm getting to the point where I just can't get the dirt out of the hole without hitting the sides. So I'm ready to put it in. I'm going to put four and six out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the center punch here and a hammer. I'm going to put a couple marks going down, maybe every foot or so. I'm going to take this unit bit. I'm going to drill some holes in the pipe because I want the pipe to fill up a little bit. I'd like to just slip the mast in there without having a, a, a bolt out in the weather going through to, to hold the mast up. So here's the two holes I did. I did one right at the three foot mark and then about 120 degrees out. I put another one down there at the two foot mark. So hopefully we'll get some cement flowing in there. 
Here's a trick for you. I learned when I used to do uh, ornamental aluminum. I used to have to set railings and all sorts of stuff. Use this plastic twine. Go around your post a couple of times like I have there. And down here. So I have it. Let me back up. One in one direction. One in the other. Now if you're working by yourself, you can just simply take the pole and move it a little bit and you see it, it's held there. Push it back, holds it there. Works good when you're working by yourself, you need to get something level. So that's a little trick for you. Okay, you're gonna go up to your home improvement store and there's gonna be about 12 different kinds of cement and concrete. And what you wanna look for is the strength and you also wanna look for something that'll say right on it, setting post, footings, etc. And uh, this is what we're gonna use, fast setting here, quickrete. And be sure to, to read the directions real quick because there's different types. Some to tell you to add the water and then pour the mix into it. Some say to add the mix and then pour the water into it. And there's also a limitation for how deep the hole is. It tells you what, you know how to go about see for holes deeper than 30 inches. Fill the depth of 30 inches and wait until the water soaks and then fill the rest. So make sure you read it because you want it to set up right. Now since they want you to do dry mix to 30 inches and make sure it's really soaked before you continue on. Uh, down at about the 30 inch mark, you can see I put some blue tape to uh, mark that location. So I'm gonna uh, do dry mix to there, make sure it's really soaked, and then fill up the rest of the hole. And then we'll uh, make sure it's plumb. I know I've been saying level, but I kind of simplify things for people that maybe don't do a uh, construction type deal all the time. Uh, Level is horizontal and plumb with the B on the end is for a vertical, just because I know I'm going to hear about that. So, uh, let's pour some mix. Okay, it took just under two 50 pound bags. And we're at the uh, that 30 inch mark. So, I want to make sure it's plumb again. I checked after I did the first bag, I'll check it. I'm just going to keep checking it, make sure it doesn't move around. Now it says about one gallon per 50 pound bag and if you do want to measure it, your typical two liter bottle is 2.1 uh, quarts. So two of these to a bag. I'm going to take this rod here and just work in the hole here. Going around, make sure the water's settling down. You did that mix real good. Now in the beginning you saw how easy I could put this rod in. Once you get the water in the mix, and the rod's not going to want to go in there anymore. Okay, so the hole's all filled in. I actually filled in the uh, center part. The holes didn't work out too well. So I poured some mix in the top. I got it to where I about where I wanted it. And uh, I flushed it real good. So that way the mass can still slide in there. So I, it goes down about four foot and then it's cement. And I'm also driving a uh, grounding rod right next to it. You can see it's at a slight angle away from it, so I'm not going to go into the new mix. Okay, I drove this rod in as far as I could, and then I hit something hard. Uh, there's a lot of coral rock here. I'm actually very lucky that I can dig a hole here. I'm going around the outside of the hole. I've scraped away all the cement. That way my grass can grow back. And now I'm going to start working on the grounding here. Okay, here's a grounding clamp two to four inches and then here's for going to the grinding rod itself you put the wire in and I'll be using number two nice me piece coming down at a sloping angle I'm gonna put antioxidants on all these connections here one here on the wire Okay, all done. Grass is back in place. Ground's done. There's about six sticking out of the ground and about four going in the inside and then the bottom two is filled with cement. So that's it. That'll be supporting uh, a, a fiberglass push-up mast. Just as it was getting dark, I was putting the flat black paint on it. I got to touch it up a little bit on the top, but 
think it looks good, blends right in.